Hello. I'm going to make a video about why C++ is not a good language for writing operating system kernel. Now we know that Linux Torvald he hates C++, right? Because okay, he hates C++, but I think it's actually fair to see these OS devs in general they don't like C++ because you really really have issues with C++. Now the first problem is of course exception handling, right? I think just the problem I don't need to mention again because you don't have there's no no EH runtime, right? There's just no runtime at all. However, there are other many trivial problems. Now first the second problem is that for example you have no virtual functions. Okay, you have no virtual functions. Because if you use virtual functions, it will introduce runtime like CXAP or virtual. Okay, you are introduced problem like you CXA virtual virtual, which means you cannot use virtual functions. Use virtual functions in kernel. Okay. Okay, you cannot use virtual functions in kernel. But the problem is actually worse than that. Now, if we go to the C freestanding part, which is we you know freestanding means freestanding a freestanding implementation just execute the in a freestanding implementation execution may happen without an operating system okay so in the freestanding environment the C++ still requires a lot of things okay including in, but if we look at the freestanding C++ part we see these header files, right? We see these header files. We don't have, for example, we don't have nodes to the array. Okay? You don't have to the array, nodes to span, nodes to string view. Okay, despite the maybe that I think maybe string view is partially not usable because of exception handling. But for still array as to span, yes, it's perfectly usable without operating system, right? There's no reason you cannot provide a std array in kernel. There's no point, right? And you know, have no std array, no std span, and it's actually worse than that. So you might say, I can just write std arrays to span or something like std my std arrays to span, okay? But here, a lot of things you cannot write. For example, like to the address of okay this is my first example but my favorite example is no to the address of okay no to the move okay no to the forward okay you cannot move <laughs> you cannot move object okay. okay you cannot get address of an object okay. object well you may you may ask why we cannot get address and an object well, the problem is that if you if you just try to see what is std address of, it is in the in the memory header, right? But memory header file is not are uh, not in the freestanding part, right? Okay, so you so it's defining the memory header file, but memory is not freestanding, right? Memory header is not freestanding. Which means we cannot get address of of of, of an, an object in a freestanding C plus plus. Okay, we cannot get address of in a freestanding C plus plus. Now, the, 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 you might say, we, why would we need? We should always use the address of because you, C plus plus has the operator overloading, right? Operator overloading. Right, so the, the the address of operator can be overloaded. Okay, which means you cannot just if you're writing template code, you don't you cannot have have the address. Now you cannot move objects because if you look at what to move is in here is that to move is in the utility header. Okay, it's in the utility header. Same with to the forward. You cannot use to forward, okay? you cannot forward objects because they are in utility headers too. Okay. Now, you might say, "Well, I can write to move." Yeah, it, they are writable. But what about to address of? To address of is impossible 
is impossible to implement without an operating system. Okay. Okay. This is just the situation is actually worse than that. Okay. There are something other things like terminate, to terminate, the set terminate, whatever. The to terminate, or the request provides all those stuff. Okay. We can use to terminate because to terminate is the is free freestanding. It's actually an exception header. I think it's just terminate to term. But if we look at this to terminate, it provide it requires to provide set to terminate get terminate. You might say, what about to expected? The expected you still need to provide that. Even they are removed in C plus plus seventeen. They are actually in the ABI, and you also have this make exception per the whatever. So you basically just even using to terminate it will blows binary side. Okay, the to terminate blows binary side because it requires to use this set, set terminate handler instead of just like operator new. You can just override it. So like in that to terminate or whatever, it just global whatever all the, all sorts of problems. It's just very bad. Okay, you might say. I can get rid of all those problems. I can avoid these exceptions. I can use virtual functions. I can no array, whatever. This is actually a fundamental problem. A larger problem is that you cannot bootstrap a Tor chain, a GCC cross Tor chain, okay, without a STDIO, okay, because actually it, just, it actually failed. Okay, it's just it just failed. You cannot bootstrap it. I tried that before. I tried to com cross compile GCC torture before. I actually complained about that in the GCC box. I think actually I actually uh, talked to them in the GCC box to talk to them about freestanding uh, hosted or whatever. Maybe they have disabled that. I don't remember. The problem is that you cannot get freestanding C++ Tor chain. It's impossible to bootstrap a C++ compiler, okay? Because GCC needs STDIO DNH to get freestanding headers. Which means you need to first have STDIO to get those uh, get those freestanding header files, freestanding header files implementation header files. Just to get those header files, you need STDIO. But STDIO is provided by operating system, right? You don't have STDIO before you're writing operating system, which means you cannot have those header files. You don't have those header files at all. Okay, you don't have new, you don't, have, you don't even have cease to, cease to dev, okay? Cease to dev, cease to int. You don't have those header files. No new, no type info, no source location, nothing. You don't have concepts. Okay, concepts is now a freestanding header. Coroutine is also another one. But they all require SDDIO because if you look at the GCC source code, okay, if we go to GCC source code, we go to config fire, and I think it's config fire. We can see it actually requires SDDIO. It will detect stdio dot h. Okay, okay. Stdio. It always requires stdio. As as, as that so libc plus plus always requires stdio. You can see you, you have to provide stdio. Or you or if you try to compile it without stdio dot h, you get compilation failure. You won't get even get those freestanding header files. No. You don't have those header files at all, okay? I I complain about them, and I actually provide patch to them, but they haven't say we we are going we're not going we we'll fix it in the future. But this is a problem that have been a, for a very long time. You don't have a problem chain, okay? So for me, I actually have a tor chain. Just I, I modify the entire compiler to get a tor chain, uh, not this tor chain. Not this. Let me can see whether I can provide that. Just show you what was, what does it look like. It's it's extremely hard to even get a torch. Okay, uh, no joke. Uh, no joke. Seriously. 
I see my my six two, okay, my six my six sixty four. So we have no torch in at all. Okay? We don't have torch here. Okay, so, so, so the, the idea behind that GCC freestanding. Yeah, I, I don't even remember because it's just impossible to build. Uh, you don't have torch here. You don't have those header fires. You don't have even you have the set of fire, you don't have no threads to address us. You have no to terminate to terminate we introduce binary load. And you have also the kind of exceptions, there's no exception wrong time. So the, the question is that what's the point? What is the point of using C plus plus? It, you just find problems. You just find troubles. Okay. You don't have those those stuff, nothing. So C++ is a terrible, terrible choice for writing operating system kernel. I know some people say, full GC, uh, whatever, full GC, uh, or whatever, uh, that's monogram, or uh, Serenity OS, okay. Mm. Those, those OS just, those are bad OS, okay. Trust me, they are not good OS, okay. They just find troubles, okay, just in general. They just find troubles because you can do better by uh, just using C and without, and you will get, get a faster compilation speed, right? So C++ is a very bad language for writing operating system, I have to say, okay? I think there's a reason why Linux Tower just hate it in a kernel, right? Because it's impossible to use C++, to use C++ in the kernel, okay? That's my whole point. I, I know some people just say, we see some people are using C++, okay? Ask them, ask them about how good that is. Actually, is okay. It is very, very bad. Okay, C plus plus in kernel is a terribly bad idea. Okay, so don't tell some means I can use two string view or whatever. No, you cannot use those things. Just no, there are no those header files header in C sending C plus plus. You don't have those header files. Even they are perfectly usable, if they should be perfectly usable, but the standard does not pro don't provide those header files. So address of and still longer whatever those a language each a language which is you can only get them in the language side, okay. But you don't have torch. Here. I think I can actually show you a torch. I really want to show you what the actual torch, uh, a freestanding C++ torch, actually is. Well, if you're writing your own library, you want to be maximum portable, you cannot use, you cannot use those few things. Okay, you cannot have, uh, you can, you don't have those headers. Uh, let me see where can I can find you. My C64. Freestanding the x86 elf. Linux host. I don't think it's this one, you know. No, it's this, it's not this one. This is newly portion, which means they are not real real freestanding portion. Although just usually just people build it with new lib, but new lib is not a, 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 a real freestanding torsion. You still have bloat with it. You don't have a real clean clean torsion with the C++. Freestanding. GCCL freestanding. Well, can I just find those headers? Yeah, I should pr I, I should have one uh, in the elf. Uh, this is not a torch. This is a Canadian torch. I just built recently, but it's also a new torch. I really want to show you a real torch. Maybe I delete that. Maybe that shape is just completely useless. I just delete that. Whatever. <sighs> don't use C plus plus. Okay, I beg you, don't not using C plus plus in the kernel. 
No, actually, it just it's a very bad idea. Okay, it's just very bad. You no, know, you can't. You don't have this thing. You don't have this. You don't have that. Uh, if you wanna just watch more about about things, you can just watch freestanding C plus uh, plus, freestanding C plus plus. Okay. Yes, actually, video freestanding C plus plus. Okay. You can go watch watch that video. Just freestanding C plus plus. I wanna. Sh no, I cannot even find that torture anymore. Okay, so I think that's that's tour of the video. Mm, yeah. So yeah, that's it. Bye.